Okay, we should be live. I don't even have my phone with me, but we're good, right? Yeah. Okay, welcome everyone. Um, we're going to be chatting about our A4 read, Offside, by Avery Keelan. I'm very curious <laughs> to hear everyone's thoughts. Me too. <laughs> I saw your one post and all you said was, it's long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, um, I mean, it's I a know. fact, okay? <laughs> it, is, it is really, especially hockey romances lately, for some reason. Oh my god, that Why Choose one that... Um, the Emily Rask? Yeah, and, and Samantha told me to read it. I was like, you want me to read a 700-page <laughs> hockey reverse harem romance? I'm shocked she actually read it. That's true, because she's like the novella queen. So Yeah. But, and it just feels like it's always hockey, because like Becca Mac, super long. Even Icebreaker is really long. Yeah, Consider Me. Look how much that was. I thought it was too long. Yeah, I haven't read hockey in a while until Offside. And I don't know if it was a good restart to <laughs> this sport well okay what did, what did you rate it I'm I'm torn between like two and three I'm leaning more towards three because I didn't I was just annoyed most of the time and I had to start skimming oh my god I am so sorry but I was like <laughs> I gotta speed this up. There's nothing happening, and or it's more like stuff that I didn't care about. I was like, okay, let me just go through this really quickly. <laughs> um, I will say the first half was five stars to me. I, I loved it. I loved how they really? got together. I loved how he was like swooning over her. The second half, she could have just chopped it off and been done. Like, yeah, yes. the second half was so pointless. And I was very it just annoyed. kept going. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it was never ending. And it was not even like a point. Like the whole gala they went to, nothing oh, even yeah. happened at the gala. And I'm like, what? Nothing. We were like spent 50 pages building up to this gala, 50 pages at this gala, and nothing happened. I know. But it does seem like people did like it. So we're like all over the place with this one, which is it always interesting. Long. I think it dragged yeah. in the end. So cozy. I read. think it was like even it out to four because I really loved him because he fell hard yeah like the romance itself just by itself I thought it was really fun really sweet I loved how he was all in you know once he was in he was in that was it for him yeah Christy oh, wow. gave it five stars okay yeah the drama at the end was a little annoying. I was just annoyed with how much she was accusing him of cheating. I was like, don't you trust him? And you're, like, in love with him. But every turn, you're like, you're cheating on me. But you're cheating on me. But you're not. Like, not. He never showed any sign that he would cheat on her. <laughs> yeah, she was very insecure. I, I'm yes. surprised how you said you love the beginning because I was very frustrated with the beginning. And how she was, like, a, a pushover, you know, with everything going on she was just like okay well I'm just gonna let him break up with me move on to another woman and what was she gonna do I well I mean <laughs> I would have been super petty like she took the high road which is fine but <laughs> I would have loved if she you know I don't know just... I just found her relatable because I would have reacted the same way and like even with her roommates how she was like close with them and then like slowly like all of a sudden they like never talked to each other like I went through a very similar experience in college though where I was like close with my roommate one year and then like priorities changed and then I'm like we barely talked by the end of the next year so but and she wasn't someone who was very confrontational which like I don't like confrontation either so I like oh, her. man I I need confrontation in books <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's fine in real life, you know, it's normal, people aren't confrontational, but I want it in the books, right. you know, but yeah. it was interesting with the roommate stuff, um, but I expected her to rely on her actual real friends, you know, but we never fully got them. They kind of disappeared, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or like journalism friends? 
Yes. I forgot about them. <laughs> right. Exactly. They showed up maybe well, once or twice. With uh, Shiv. Oh, yeah. Siobhan. Yeah. The new one. Yeah. Like, his friend group was great. Like, he had a solid mm-hmm. friend group. But she was just left floating. And I felt bad for her. But I also wanted her to, you know, maybe say screw you <laughs> a little bit earlier. Well, yes. Well, it's, and I felt bad about her brother, how her brother kept on taking his friend's side. Oh, and yeah. I'm like, don't you know the friend was cheating? And then the brother was cheating. And I'm just like, what is happening with this brother? I liked him. I mean, like, he kind of made up for it in the end. But I really hated how, like, everyone was taking Luke's side. It's not Paul, right? Yeah. Is Paul the other one? Okay. They yeah, were Luke is the ex. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, everybody knows that he trash talks her also. Like, and everyone knows he was cheating on her. Right. So like, and the brother... brother- should have known that too yeah especially because the whole team hated him like wouldn't he have known right <laughs> like it came out the end yeah we actually don't like luke that much but it, you didn't show it you know yeah yeah um melissa i gave it four Lacey gave it three 2.5. i'll give it three yeah 2.5 <laughs> But yes, the hero was great. I didn't like love him, love him, but he was sweet. I appreciated him for not being for being a former man whore. Yeah. But like we didn't really see that until like they talked about like the tape and that one girl that was kept on throwing herself at him. Mm. Girl, okay, yes. Was- the tape thing at the end, that got resolved like in a snap. <laughs> like one second they were so at like it was all the drama about the sex tape and then, and then everything is wrapped up in a nice little bow like luke is now working in the fast food industry yes luke ended <laughs> gonna be expelled <laughs> yeah okay. they didn't even let us go through it they just mentioned no, they oh yeah that happened and we're just gonna wrap it up and now it's over <laughs> um but what melissa said made me really annoyed as a reader like as an author if you're gonna weave in this like mysterious thing that happened to you that cost your family all this money and no one wants to talk about it I was like does she have like a serious like I don't know like a mental health issues that she was going through and how to get like therapy and like go so, like I thought that's what was gonna happen something like that that she's recovered from that she's gonna talk about or like some sort of illness that she it's just like oh I was in a car accident I'm fine <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like, everything gets glossed the over. The end. And I was, like, waiting the whole time. Yeah, even the whole plot with the parents struggling with their house and their money, yeah. that honestly could have been completely taken out. Yeah. I don't know why that was even added in. That and the... the just the to... Family everything was out. just to make the hero look better. <laughs> like, he yes. gave the parents, oh, gave the brother yeah. money. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but yeah, this is true. I was kind of expecting that it was going to be about her, yeah. or maybe Luke filmed both of them together, Chase and her name. He was what's though. her name? Why? On that yeah. Like a month. Yeah, pretty much. That's why I had to start skimming, okay? <laughs> There's an epilogue? Like There a... was an epilogue in this book when he proposed. Mm-hmm. But I, I don't seek out You don't read trip. epilogues. No. Yeah. Normally I do, but, you know, I clearly did not, was not invested enough. Yeah. I thought it was, like, something major that she had, like, finally recovered from. Yeah. Yes. It's like, no big deal. I'm like, why? (laughs) Yeah, the couple was the strongest part and the only part that I liked. But then it would have been, like, half the length. And I don't know. Which would have been better. (laughs) I would have, but I don't know if it's because of KU that authors are like trying to write longer oh. and longer books to get paid more because it's by page number. That is an interesting point. 
Point That's of my, view. I mean, my also with baby writing is right. It's the books. new version of book stuffing. Yes. Let's just add extra scenes that don't really matter. An extra 300 pages. That is ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is there an audiobook for this? I think someone mentioned that they wanted to wait for the audio. I don't think there is But yet. that's going to be about 20 hours. Long. It's like a long audio. Yeah. It did read pretty fast, though. Yes, it was very cliched with the the bitchy characters. Who gets the next book? Good question. Is it the friends who didn't really show up? So this says it's brother's teammate. Oh, it's a goalie. Is that um what's his name? One of the guy friends? I don't know. It says it's Tink and Hades. That doesn't sound familiar. Unless they're like keeping it vague on purpose. Um Is it the same? Which which school is it? Her school or his school? I don't know. It just says shut out book two. Oh, on Woody Goodreads, Woody. it's it's called Rules of the Game series. Yeah, but it's shut out, right? Um, oh, book two. I'm trying to look for it on Goodreads, but it's not connected. Like, the series isn't no, it's connected. Not. Someone said they wanted to be Shiv in Dallas, but didn't they kind of get things worked out already by the yeah. end? Yes, yeah, so I don't see yeah. why it would be. I mean, I would have been interested in their romance too, but they got a secondary yeah. mini romance yeah. here. Oh, Tyler. I was wondering if it was Tyler because he was the goalie for um, Chase's team. Okay. Is he one of their friends? One of his friends? I feel yeah. like there were two two friends, right? Did we see Chase's Dallas. sister? Okay, yeah. I was like, I didn't even remember Chase had a sister. <laughs> I didn't either. Um, Pat said he didn't I, see her. Wasn't she sort of a strange? Like, they didn't talk that oh. much? He's living with the mom because and she hates the stepdad. I thought she was still living with them. Okay. Maybe she like I think she moved away. Didn't she go to Arizona or something? (laughs) But now she's coming back to his school. I don't know. I mean, even so, I mean people are bringing up Mile High though. That's still a pretty chunky book, too. Have it over there. All these hockey romances are chunky. I but... didn't even realize Mile High was a hockey romance. Mm-hmm. Because the cover it has a plane. So I'm I don't know, pilot romance. Because um she's uh what's it called? Uh a flight attendant. Oh, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. A prequel for them. Yeah, but I think most of their conflict was figured out because, I mean, they would be a good book, but I feel like it would be interesting because of how they played out. Because um, right. she had like, that stalker ex that she kept on tr- running away from. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Going back to some earlier comments, we did kind of answer this one with the brother. I was annoyed. Yeah, it just didn't make sense. He didn't give a yeah. crap about his sister until until the end. All the the cheating stuff came fine. out. But what? I mean, like to be fair, brothers can be annoying like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. But I mean, it's a little different when you go to the same school, right? So you see each other a lot, and it's not like they hated each other. <laughs> No, I mean, that's fair, because they were close. 
Yeah. But he just put hockey and his drama above the heroine, which was definitely annoying. Like their entire lives. I was mad that they she had to give it up because they couldn't afford it. And they're like, well, oh, he's yeah. better, so he gets money. I'm like, that's rude. She got the short know. end of the stick <laughs> in everything. everything. Yeah. And I just feel like they both had really crappy home lives. Yeah. And like her um the journalism thing too. Like she loves sports, but then some other guy took it over. Which is fair though, because I do think it's hard for women to be journalists in sports because they'll probably pick the guys. And it was annoying because mm-hmm. it's like literally she has a brother on the hockey team, but the guy got to cover hockey. Exactly. Yeah, she had an in. That. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. I do think everything though was tied up a little a little too neatly. Like she got the the internship, <laughs> she got the scholarship. Her oh, brother's yeah. not dating someone new. Shiv and Dallas are fine. Luke is, uh, is got expelled and yeah. working at McDonald's or something. Yeah. So. Yeah. Like, it's fine that it ended that way, but it just, the fact that it all happened so quickly, maybe in the span of a chapter. Yeah. <laughs> and nothing. We didn't get to see it is the thing. True. That they true. glossed over the whole, um, the lawyer stuff. Which was surprising. Yeah, I mean, they gloss over everything at the end. Um, yeah. <laughs> so it wasn't as spicy as it was advertised. Was it advertised as? I didn't see it, it being advertised as super spicy. I mean, it was spicy. Maybe it's book talk being like, oh my God, this is such a hot hockey romance. Yeah. And it was like normal. Yeah. I wouldn't say it wasn't spicy, but it wasn't spicy, spicy. It originated from Wattpad, right? Really? I'm pretty sure. I didn't know that. And I was like, yeah, it definitely feels like it came from Wattpad. With all the the cliched stuff. All the... the Interesting, but I read um, The Enforcer by her, and I really liked that. And I listened to the audio oh, of that. I, I just borrowed that um, in audio. Yeah. For my library. That one's really good. A lot less also... dramatic. Oh, okay. It's not. And it's a not reasonable good. length. Yeah. Or else I wouldn't have listened to it because I don't listen to long audiobooks. So, yeah. But I do agree. So, Lexi said, um, Victoria pointed out most books don't have realistic portrayals of brother sister relationships. Uh, like, I'm not close with my brother. So, like, I could see this happening. You know, like, instead of having the stereotype of, like, super overprotective, like, always there for your sister. Like, this didn't have that. And I feel like that is. Right. I guess. I can see it. But it's just that they had so much in common. They were physically in such a close. And it sounded like they were close. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) When is it coming out? Oh, June 1st. Yeah, so soon. Mm-hmm. Just a month away. Um, be oh, three books. Much. A fourth for Dallas and Shiv. But, oh, interesting. So we'll see them older and with more drama again? I wonder if her other books then were on Wattpad or just this one. Because I feel like The Enforcer did not read like a Wattpad story. And by that, I mean, like, how this was, like, very dramatic things mm-hmm. and the pace of the events. Not that Wattpad's bad, but I feel like it's definitely right. a, there's more a, drama. There's a formula to it. Yeah. But I think The Enforcer came out earlier, right? Unless Offside was her already TV. on audio. Right. So I don't know. Yeah, she said that. So the Enforcer came out in 2022, but in June. Did anyone read it originally on Wattpad? Like, when did it, when did she post it on Wattpad? And then when did she take it down? I don't know. I feel like there's too much on Wattpad. I wouldn't even know where to start. You read on Wattpad, don't you? My groveling romance author yes 
but I I mostly just read it for her or I'm on Wattpad for her. I don't look for anything else. Oh, okay. How did you find your groveling one? It was actually through Facebook. Like she was in the same groveling Facebook group that I was in. Um, and then she posted a little excerpt. <laughs> yes, I'm in a groveling Facebook group. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but she posted a little excerpt that she wrote like, you know, one day because she was getting tired of all the bad groveling romances that were out there. And people okay. fell in love. And they were like, you should post this. You should publish this. And then she decided to put it up on a Wattpad. What makes authors put it on Wattpad versus self-publishing? Do they just not want to go through the publishing process? Um, I think Wattpad is more like an intro author thing. Like they're not mm-hmm. sure if they want to be like a actual published author. So they post um, maybe a chapter or two at first to get feedback because the interesting about interesting thing about Wattpad is that you can comment on pretty much every single paragraph. Of really, yeah. so it's just like having an editor. Yeah, if an editor is not good, <laughs> <laughs> that's interesting. And I mean, like yeah. I know a lot of authors start from writing fan fiction online, so. And I'm shocked, like, the more I hear that have. I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Like, the other book that you wanted to read, the Jesse Hall one, that was also Wattpad. Was it? Yeah. I I was. I thought you were on a Wattpad theme because you said No, I don't know that. anything about Wattpad or his <laughs> Wattpad. I just see people reading them, and I'm like, oh, that looks good. Yeah. Interesting. It won. And then- guessing like they do well on Wattpad so then that's why they yeah yeah for sure but is this like an award thing I don't know Enforcer was really good it's a second chance romance they were like yeah, dating freshman year of college seem to like it more yeah and she's a trainer and he's a hockey player and it's good oh people love <laughs> Wattpad they even publish yeah. their own book. Like, they're a publishing house now, too. Yeah, I think it came back because it was definitely, like, a twenty early 2010s thing. And then... Yeah. Like, after Twilight. Yeah. <laughs> All the Twilight fan fiction. Yep. Yeah. What's a Wadi Award? Oh, <laughs> that's their award, their book awards, I guess. Interesting. I've never heard of this before. Melissa's comment. Is the right move? That's the second one. I haven't read that yet. Who is the right move by? That's Liz Tom Ford, too. That's the second one to Mile High. Okay. I still need to read her. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, so Wattpad, but I don't know, like, would Wattpad have helped, like, indie publishing or just their own publishing house? Oh, yeah, they do have their own publisher. Yeah. And they're in Barnes Noble. It's probably helpful. Go ahead. um, It's probably helpful to get a following on Wattpad first you know yeah like what Angelica is saying so they'll follow you when you actually publish something very true um (laughs) I still have a red tire in Alpha's rejected mate either and I know people say that's a really good groveling romance it is very good I'm reading book three right now book four the, the newest Just one. Very similar titles, though. Yes. Okay. There, It's always the somethings rejected mate. This one, the newest one, is his curvy rejected mate. His curvy rejected mate? Yeah. And She's a curvy shifter. Okay. I always thought it was the same book people were talking about. I didn't realize they were a bunch in the series. I think books one and two sound very similar, but I don't remember what they are. 
Um, but with, I forgot to mention with the book and how like she was very um, insecure and wouldn't trust him. She would always believe the bad people that he was cheating. I was like, Luke tells you he's cheating. Literally your ex. And then I think it was Paul too. Like all these people she's not friends with who want to sabotage her relationship were telling her he's cheating. And she immediately believed it. Yeah, his history doesn't help, but still, he he's never given a reason. But, like, have we seen that history? She, I don't think she saw that history. Like, what does she know? Well, his, his what's that saying? His reputation precedes him. Like, he's known as a player. Okay. I mean, but he's, I don't know. I just hate that when they start dating, like, what, those reformed players, like, they, were, they never did anything to show that they would cheat. Because he's not mm-hmm. a cheater. He just, like, hooked up with a lot. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and I, well, and but... I get her trauma over, like, having Luke cheat on her all the time. But then she got anything in the back. Yeah. Yet when this guy who really loves you, and Luke, of all people, tells you he's cheating. <laughs> I know. I mean, I did appreciate, though, like, the one time about the the actual sex tape she wasn't mad about it like she didn't go to her typical drama like instant oh my god he he cheated on me with two women it was no you're a victim you did not consent to this yeah and I did appreciate that yeah she she does grow (laughs) a little bit yeah Yeah. and how everyone still saw him as the victim and how it wasn't his fault Mm -hmm. I did like Yes, the rejected mate stuff is Katie Wells. She's great. She actually has a bunch of um, MC romances that are also, they also have some groveling. <laughs> Melissa, <laughs> sorry. I haven't read the right movie yet. I need to. But what did so, you not like about the Mile High Audio? Because I think Melissa mentioned she didn't like it. Is it the narrators? And I'm giving Offside four stars. I still really love the beginning, <laughs> but it was it was too long. Like books need to stop being too long. And someone did say that if that you like speed read, like you did, Lacey, it doesn't count. It still counts. It just doesn't count if you like scroll. Right. Like, I'm still spending a couple seconds reading the dialogue and stuff. But, like, I'm I'm on my Kindle, so. Yeah. I think that still counts your page count. I'm just not, like, that. (laughs) That's not. I can't skim like that. So, is the, is Mile High book one and then Right Move book two? Yeah. And, and this one. Both hockey. No. First one's oh. hockey, second one's basketball. And it's oh. her brother who's a basketball player, and they're really close. I loved Mile High. I loved the hero. So good. Does Avery Keelan go to signings? Maybe she's too new. Uh, yeah, she is pretty new. But as, what is it? Eternal Embers like jumped on her book as soon as it became popular. Oh yeah, they have that special edition that sells That's for illustrated. hundreds of dollars. I don't know when the dainty book box all of a sudden became so prized. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I know. No one cared. And now those go for, like, $500. And I'm like, when did this shift happen? It was very bizarre. Yeah. I think it's just because it's so rare. Like, they do such a limited quanti- quantity, and people just want it just because. I guess. I don't know. But it just happened. Like, it's, they've been around for a bit. Yeah. But that's usually how boxes work. Like, they're really not known for well, like, 
a long time. Yeah. Hello Lovely's trope box now. It's Jay Daniels. Oh, yeah. And I think Tempt now, too, is going for a lot. Yeah, the the new illustrated covers. Like, those are the illustrated covers that I like. You know, that's not flat, you know, a blank face type of illustrated right. cover that you see on traditionally published books a lot. Yes. I'm going to get my copy. I'm obsessed with, yeah. I think this one's really pretty. And I love the font they chose, but also the step the back. That we have the step back. Yes. And it comes with the print of the step back. But I love it. I love it. Yeah, they did such a great job with that. And now I think they they know what's working for them. So we'll probably see a lot more I hope of so. this style. Yes, and I'm excited for Elsie's and whoever else. Is oh, yes. Yeah, which I think is still on sale until the first. So hop on that if you haven't. <laughs> That's amazing that they're doing an open pre order and they're not selling out. Mm -hmm. They don't do that a lot. I saw spoilers for um, this one. It's, a, it's another hockey romance. You just got theirs. When did it ship? Um, well, I got Tomorrow? an email that mine shipped a few days ago. I feel like ago. I got an email, like, yesterday that it shipped. My cover to cover just shipped, too. Oh, have you seen the spoilers for those? Yeah. Yeah, people post it to the author's Facebook group. Not, oh. no, like, no warning or anything. They're like, it's so pretty. And I'm like, okay, cool. I mean, like, I saw it before anyways, but I'm like, no spoiler warning. I know people don't care <laughs> in Facebook in the author group Sally's. No. Oh, I guess mine. No, that's my shirt and sweatshirt. Um. It should have been a few days ago. I don't always save it because I know it's coming. No, I just got an email saying I'm going to be renewed. Mm hmm. I deleted it. Oh, wow. I'm yeah, that is it. really fast. Well, it's a hockey romance. Is it like one that I've read? Um, I don't think. I think you've read the author. I'm not sure if you read that book. Yes. Okay. The Jay Dan. Um, and they're doing the whole series, right? Mm hmm. I don't know where I put that, JJ. Yeah. I do appreciate it when the author, well, not the authors, when boxes finish the series. So, like, Dark and yeah. Corky is finishing the Chestnut Spring series, and I'm excited about that. Mm hmm. I'm going to look at what the hell a lovely box is. I think anybody's posted their photos already. <laughs> her pink legs I did not notice that <laughs> yeah her leg is pink it's different though and I like yeah, how it wraps around yes it is a unique style yeah Nobody's posted a photo yet, so I mean that's good that nobody's spoiling it. But <laughs> oh no, someone did post it. I think they tagged Hello Lovely. Are you looking on Instagram? Yeah. Is that it? It's blue. Oh no! Like normally, or the, or or the box, the, the book box, the box. Hello Lovely's cover. Why would they tag Hello Lovely in this? Okay, yeah, Chrissy, send me a picture of yours. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it for people. I don't care about being spoiled, but I know other people care about being spoiled. That's why I felt bad when I saw people posting it to author groups, and I'm like, well, 
Hopefully no one was waiting to see what that one looked like. But I do yeah. also, I love the the spine of the last chapter for the Catherine set, how like the mountains all match up. Oh, yes. Because they tried to do that with the Jennifer Hartman, but like mine's not printed exactly how they meant it to be printed. So <laughs> I did not read this one. Yeah, I haven't either. This one's the the second generation, right? Mm-hmm. Because she didn't write for a while. So I've yeah. been following her for a long time. And I know you have too. Um, and I remember her kids when they were like 10. <laughs> and she just posted a photo of her daughter prom. And I was like, your child was like 12 <laughs> yesterday. I know. But she literally <laughs> took like a five-year hiatus. She did. And I, <laughs> I just remember yeah. her showing her kids a lot before. And that's when I followed her. And now she's back, and I'm like, kids change in five years. They really do. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, same with um, Tessa Bailey. Like, I've been following her for so long. And I remember when her kid was really young, and now she's so much older. Same with Penelope Douglas. Aiden is so grown now. <laughs> well, and so R.S. Cool. Gray. I followed R.S. Gray before she even had kids. Oh, yes, and now that's true. we're like... <laughs> Yeah, I remember when she got pregnant. It's been a while since we've been. I remember when she went to Italy before having the first one with her husband. <laughs> that little vacation. Yeah. 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 I remember when she got married. Yeah. Okay, I have read that author. That was not the book I saw that was tagged. I don't know why this person tagged Hello Lovely in that picture, because I don't think Hello Lovely did that book. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's hard to keep track of all these boxes i understand there's just so many of them now okay and then there's a new one by like a podcast too oh bookaholic is it that what they call or i mean i'm sure there's probably another one already (laughs) new ones pop up every day i know oh yeah book buzz podcast the bookaholic book box yeah they started last year with LJ Shen. Yeah. But I feel like I didn't really see them pop up a lot until the past couple months. I guess they haven't done that many boxes. Yeah, they did. After LJ Shen, they did Debbie Perry. Or was it Kay Bromberg? They but did they Kay Bromberg and they just did Debney. Yeah. In April. Oh, that's confusing. Devney's book is with a book called The Calamity. And in my mind, I was like, that's a Devney book because of her Calamity Montana series. <sighs> Christy, I think I saw, I forget, was it you that was posting about trying to get the Devney book? I don't know. There's too many that I don't even care that I'm missing it. Like, they're doing Birthday know. Girl again. I'm not even going oh, yeah. to get birthday. I mean, I bought it today because I'm like a subscriber, but I feel like dark I won't. Um, bookish box, not dark and quirky. Yeah. And I, I'm not like obsessed with it either. So I was just like, hmm. I really like the, the girl side of the dust jacket. Oh, yeah. I just spent a lot of money on book boxes last month and I'm like, I can't keep this up. <laughs> yeah. I didn't get the Devney one because I didn't read it yet. <laughs> and I didn't like the first book in that series, so Yeah. Did you get um Tristan's Venom? Yes. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna buy Penelope Douglas no matter what. <laughs> you no. Know. Oh, wait, Christy, what are you talking about now? Which Devly one? The Bookaholic one, right? Oh, you were trying to get it. Okay, I thought you meant you already bought one. Because isn't another box doing Runaway, the one of the Runaway books? Oh. Dang, I don't know. They're all... <laughs> she's everywhere now. 
And then Belle is continuing with the the Eden series too. Yeah. Oh, Lacey, maybe you'll know. How does it work for us getting the the Mind F series? Oh, <laughs> um, I don't get the subscriber emails. Yeah, I need to ask for if reps get early access, but okay. I would hop on as soon as public. Um, the public sale opens it's not limited it's only limited to how much they can fit into their warehouse yeah so they're gonna try to get as many books as they can but obviously they can't do an unlimited amount i so, know because they did say they would have enough for subscribers yeah definitely but i need to message and ask <laughs> how i yeah. go about buying <laughs> mystic box is like I would say 5,000, if that's what I remember from what Kate told me around mm-hmm. there, her number of subscribers. So I don't know how many more they can fit into their warehouse, but just as soon as the sale drops, just buy it immediately. Yeah. She's not worried about selling out. That's crazy. Because I don't know if any other box will ever do another book by her. Yeah, the only reason that Kate is able to do it is because they she had um, CM Owens and ST Abbey, like they did a, a box with her books, oh, like really early on in um, the Mystic Box days. It was just regular covers, but it was signed. So they were able to lift that signature off of those books and to they were able to create the digital ones. Mm-hmm makes sense mm-hmm. and but you know you i just hate the resale thing you know you're gonna see it for a crazy oh, amount of for money sure. afterwards. which is so annoying because like even for rachel for fit teacher rachel she said her first round of boxes was sent out for ce richie and it was posted that day on mercari for twice the amount of money so people are buying them just to just resell them now. mm-hmm so it's insane. Yeah. I, I also think that's why people buy the dainty ones too, <laughs> because they know they can sell it for literally five hundred plus dollars. Yeah. So that's a profit of like four hundred something dollars, easy. Yeah. And though people are starting to sell their original indie copies of books that get picked up by Bloom, so like the Twisted series mail covers, but aren't those available on her website? Um, when she does signings, she has them. Okay. Because there's some that I'm like, I'm pretty sure there is a way to buy them. You just can't buy them on Amazon and people are taking advantage of people and still posting mm-hmm. them. For crazy. Yeah. Money. Which is so annoying. Someone already has a Hello Lovely one that literally shipped two days ago. For 175 <sighs> Yeah, she makes them... She does both the indie guy covers and the indie discreet covers yeah. at the signing. So you can get whatever you want. But since people, not everyone can go to signings, they can still upcharge. And or people for- might not even know about signings. So. Yeah. Some people don't even know that they're not truly out of print. So, Well, like the hardcover female editions of Gianna, I've seen those go for a lot. And she's literally now she's reading the back in the summer. Yeah. Didn't she uh, j- recently announce that the the next MC one is coming soon? Yeah. And I think that was like <laughs> a month ago. Now. It was about a month ago. Oh, I thought it was fairly recently. I thought it was like a month ago now. Let me look. April 3rd. (laughs) But why would she post that if it wasn't coming soon? I have no idea. Like, what is going on with her? I don't know. Oh, I saw this. I saw Rebecca posting on Facebook about this. Like, she Good. sent an actual personalized box to some 
blogger or influencer and they just resold it in some Facebook group. Not even trying to cover the name, I guess. <laughs> like, <laughs> Good, because I have seen people who I know for sure have gotten books for free from authors upselling them in Mercari. How soon is soon? That's a great question, Christy. <laughs> um, I think it's been at least half a year, right? Since the original release date. Oh, it's been a year. It was supposed to come oh. out like March last year. Oh, dang. Yeah. Because it was supposed to be right <laughs> after <laughs> Nashville. Wait, when? <laughs> Hopefully it'll come out soon. But uh, the next comment, I have an ARC copy signed of A Court of Thorns and Roses. Oh, really? And, yeah, because I won it in a giveaway like when only two books were out. I oh, it. my gosh. That's awesome. I could get a pretty penny out of that book. Yeah, if you're ever strapped for cash. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm ever strapped for cash, my Penelope collection. I know. Oh, my be God. a long way. <laughs> Look at these. Oh my god, I know. Where did you end up finding Bully? Um, Bully? They were both in Facebook groups. And I was Who able to trace them. Lying around? Like old fans. And yeah. apparently this one is even the first, the actual first printing. Oh it yeah, without the bestseller on it? Yeah, like this has yeah. the top one. I didn't even realize. And they're both signed, too. I did not expect them to actually be signed. So these can um, give me a lot of money if I actually parted with them. <laughs> did you send two, a lot of them? Um, no, I didn't, actually. So this one I was able to trade for. This one I did buy with some money. Surprisingly, not, you know, not the $400 you that I expected. Wow. That's good. I did see someone find the out of print Akatar covers at a half price books for eight dollars. <laughs> there's a lot of them though, just because she's so popular that they're still yeah. kind of in circulation. Yeah, I have the I mean you do too, the original hardbacks, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then I printed out the the fan made cover for the for Yeah. Yep. I'm still yeah. mad over that. Yeah. I mean, the new, new covers are growing on me, like the new hardback covers. I kind of like them because I bought them. <laughs> Wait, but, they are they different? Like the gray with the pink and the gray with the green and the gray with the red. That's the hard the cover. Gray? Yeah, they're gray. Instead of like, like the full the color. Oh, I didn't know they did the gray ones. Do you mean to grab mine? Yeah. <sighs> yes, I am going to Steamy Lit, Caitlin. I literally bought a ticket this week. I bought it for re resale, so I was able to get a discount, <laughs> which, I mean, I'll take it. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, I guess they look a little bit better. Instead of just like a bright orange yeah. cover. <laughs> they still look too, I don't know. This aesthetic doesn't match the book. I know. But yeah. Like it kind of looks like the uh, um, Girl with the Dragon tattoo covers. Mm -hmm. But that makes yeah. sense because there's I the word tattoo in the cup yeah. on the title. Yeah. I mean, hopefully the fan-made artists will make some more for the future books. Whenever they come out, because they're not coming out for <laughs> forever. Oh, my God. Is she coming um, out with Crescent City 3 before another Akatar book? I think so. Let me – so I can check my library sometimes to see, you know. Like what, release dates? Yeah. I think for hers, it's somewhere in 2030-something. 
What? I mean, it's a placeholder date. It's not, you know, for sure, for sure. But let me see. What about Tessa Dare and Lisa Kleypas? Oh, I don't even know. They just, like, dropped off the face of the earth writing-wise. Yeah, Lisa Kleypas dropped off completely off of social media and everything. Tessa is still tweeting, I think. She's not writing. She's still, she's still going to signings. <laughs> so it's been years. Wasn't it before 2020 for Tessa? I think so because it was supposed to come out when COVID hit. The show? Oh, you're right. Dang. We'll probably get all new covers for the TV show. (sighs) Right. The show tie-in covers. But has it been confirmed that the show is coming out in 2024 or 2025? Have they even cast it yet? I don't know. But we're getting that. We're getting It Ends With Us. We're getting Red, White, and Royal Blue. We're getting a Harry Potter remake, a Twilight remake, the Hunger Games prequel. (laughs) Yeah. I know. I am too. Especially how bookstores are treating them too. Like my Barnes & Noble doesn't care the new ones anymore. Really? Like any mass markets or just historicals? Uh, I don't know about any, but the historicals, I asked the last time because I wanted Lorraine Heath's new one, and typically they have hers. And they were like, well, no, we usually don't get any, and if we get any, it's one. And okay, I did yes. not see any historicals on their shelves. Okay, my library says the untitled Court of Thorns and Roses, number five, expected December 30, 31st, 2028. <laughs> so... No way. It's probably a placeholder, but still, they pushed it out as far as they could. Oh, what? Oh, go ahead. Yes, we are getting a remake, a TV show remake of Twilight for some reason. Is it a remake, or is it just in the same world? Are they redoing Twilight? I'm pretty sure it's only um, a remake. I haven't Mm -hmm. heard of any spinoffs or anything. Well, so is Harry Potter also a remake where it's the same Mm -hmm. characters? They're going to turn it into a show, which some people really like the sound of. But, like, the original actors are so iconic. How are you going to? I I already feel so bad for whoever they cast. Right? Um, But what Christy said, because we were chatting with historicals at authors at um readers take denver and they were saying i think one of them even had to switch publishers because they weren't focusing on historicals anymore i don't remember who that was christy who was it it was the one they didn't invite to be on the panel (laughs) they like invited the only historical romances authors but one of them janet mcgregor and they didn't invite her to be on the panel and they're like you're joining the panel (laughs) wait what do you mean like, there were only, like, five historical romance authors at the signing. And Whoa. they only invited four of them to be on the panel. Mm-hmm. Wow. And then they made the authors did. They were like, Janet, you're going to come on the panel. Okay. So was yeah. it anyone? That... She's leaving. I don't Who was Janet McGregor with? I'm trying to find any of her books on my shelves. Is it forever? No. Isn't she leaving St. Martin's or she's staying with St. Martin's? I love St. Martin's. She she was with St. Martin's. Then she's Press. leaving them. Beverly Jenkins was saying things are changing with Avon too. She didn't say what. Dang. But her next book also is not a historical. Right, Christy? Isn't that what she said? <sighs> Which is sad because like there was such a push for them with Bridgerton and now they're like pushing them out yeah 
Okay, yeah, she's leaving St. Martin's Press. I think she's doing, is she going to forever? I don't remember who she said she was going to. But I'm liking the new covers. So, like, I liked Diana's new cover and I like Lenora's new cover. So. And what's the Ray Cass author? Scarlett Peckham. Yeah, her covers are good too. And I really like Kay Bateman. Hers is indie published though, like so she, like she had the cover design, but her new one was really cool. It's I think it's her novella though. Stacy Reed still has really pretty covers with her publisher. Yes, which is also interesting because I feel like does Entangled usually do historicals? Yeah, they do. Like, what other mm-hmm. authors does it publish? I don't know. But Entangled does a lot of mass market paperbacks. Yeah. This is true. Let's see. We got all those ugly historical romance covers. I agree. Uh, Lisa Clayfuss, please. I need you. It's already like four months into the year. I don't know if we'll actually get a new release. But Mabel should do she'll do a Beyonce and just surprise us. Oh, which one's Stacy Reed's new one? She's coming out with a lot this year though, isn't she? Um, I only remember the entangled one, the this yellow. Well, she came out with The Wolf and the Wildflower. Oh, yes. That one was indie. Yeah. No? That was was that indie? Um, where did I put that? Why did I think it wasn't indie? Because it's bigger. It's not mass market, which surprised me. Five books. Yeah, I was going to say, she has a lot coming. Okay, so the yellow one is called An Earl to Remember. And Tangle did her Wolf and the Wildflower. Oh, really? It says Amara, but it says Entangled. Yeah, that is Entangled. I don't know why. I think it's because I saw the paper bag was $15. So I was like, oh, that would be indie. Is it a trade paperback? Um, I don't know where I put mine. Five by eight inches. Interesting. It's not like the full size, I don't think. What is this yellow Stacy Reed cover, though? It's an Earl to Remember. Yeah, this is the the what Christy said, the amnesia one, and it sounds amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay. I think so. I have stuff. When does the Barnes and Noble sale end? It's not over, is it? It's I think it's still going on. Okay, good, because I haven't ordered yet. I have Lorraine Heath's new one and Diana Quincy's new one pre order. I'm gonna pre order there in my cart. And I'll have to add Stacy's. Yeah. She apparently she is white. Oh my gosh, ends tonight. Christy. Sorry, why would Lisa Clayfuss only write contemporary? I don't know. Maybe it's a push from her publisher. They want to move away from historicals. Um, Lexi, I loved Lorraine Heath's overboard book. So <laughs> I don't know what that face is for. <laughs> one was because Lisa loved it, so I was like, "Oh my god, I have to read it!" And it was so good. Which one is this one? It's the black and white cover of my spot. This mine's not out. It's in the behind. She um, is super mean to him, and he gets really wealthy, but he's a self-made man. And so then someone attacks her by the Thames, and he finds her, and she has amnesia. So he says, "You're my maid," and like makes him like her bathe him and like wait on him. And she's like, "This doesn't feel normal." But okay, and like, oh, so okay. she's the one who gets amnesia. Mm-hmm. That's what I was Oh, okay, because the Stacy Reed one, the 
the hero gets amnesia. Oh. Overboard is that she's the one who gets amnesia. Oh, okay. Well, Maybe. obviously. You never watched it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, Apple's doing uh, the O'Malley series, which we're reading for Historical Hellions later this year. Um, Wait, what do you what do you mean by Apple? Like Apple TV? Like iBooks? No, movie. Show. Oh, what? Yeah. I did not know that. Oh. The Kyle O'Malley series. Which I need. I don't know how many books are in that series. I was like, do I need to start collecting? I have the original cover of the first one. Sky O'Malley. Because Crystal read it a couple years ago, last year. She said it was bonkers. So I'm excited. Oh, yeah. My Darling Duke was is going to be a show, right? Who bought that? That's the Amnesia one. Oh my gosh! So we're so but we're getting I historical. Go to, I forgot to talk to you about that. Oh yeah, I, yeah, yeah. John, we're Legend. getting we're getting so many, so many things. Wait, but these historicals are news to me. Let me look this up. <laughs> yeah, here I'm gonna grab my copy. Have it here. Bodice Ripper Sky O'Malley series to air on Apple Plus. Interesting. So these are actually like old school historical romances. I wonder yeah, how they. Like, yeah, like yeah. I wonder why they decided on these. I don't know. Maybe the same way that they did. It smells really old. <laughs> it's so pretty though. Maybe it's like uh, Bridgerton where someone was just randomly picking it up and was like, I love this. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. I hope it's good, though, because like Black Dagger Brotherhood. I'm sad. <laughs> Don't even talk to me about that. <laughs> I, was so I was like, you held out. I was like, what is it? Two decades? Like two decades of selling the series to someone. And she chose Passion Flakes. Maybe they're giving her a lot of money. I don't know. But they're not putting money into that movie. <laughs> yeah. They kept the stuff for Bridgerton, so. I guess we'll see. And I'm sorry. Wait, like, so... you know how much, how many bad things they do in Game of Thrones? But they can oh, get yeah. away with it because it's fantasy instead of a historical romance. Wait, so the what's once more my darling rogue? That one's the sorry, the that's the overboard book. There's no movie okay. for that. Okay, so that one's not getting an adapt adaptation. Right. Right. Okay, so I was thinking like True Blood, like someone like HBO or Showtime should be doing Black Tiger Brotherhood. I know, and at Denver there's someone for Passion Flicks in the historical romance panel, and they're like Beverly Jenkins, we'd love to make your book a movie. And there, she's like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, well, <laughs> let's read this. I mean, I, I've only seen like a couple clips of Passion Flicks, but it's just not the best. We need someone with a bigger budget, especially yes. for paranormal stuff. Like, <laughs> you're going to have special effects. You can't half ass them. Right. Oh no! Where did you see them? Where? That's true. I mean, but they kept it, mm -hmm. which was they the most controversial scene. It a little, show. but yeah, they did keep yeah. it. I guess I'm gonna have to read the Bertrice. How do you say it? Bertrice? Bertrice Ball. That's what I say. Bertrice. Oh, yeah. Go pre-order, Jess. Okay, thank you. I'll do that tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Did you pre-order anything, Lacey? No, I still, I'm still waiting on the Stacey Reed one that I pre-ordered from the last round. Um, 
So I, last time I got Sylvia Day, the Anna Huang exclusive, and then Stacey Reed. So now I'm like, I don't know what else I need. I was kind of eyeing the JLA exclusives, but they were still pricey. Yeah. And I didn't know, like, I've signed up for, like, with Bloom for a couple of their books. I don't know for sure if I'll, I'm will i sent them, but then I don't want to, like, pre-order them and be sent them. So I don't know. You can at like, least pre-order the exclusives. But, I don't, like, Sierra Simone's not exclusive, is it? They haven't announced anything, no. Okay, so, like, the pre-order would just be for the normal book, even if they did. Because that's what I'm really excited for. <laughs> she deleted it? Oh, my what? God. Was it that bad? I wasn't a <laughs> pre-order special edition. Wow. What was that? <laughs> uh, Fourth Wing still technically doesn't come out until Tuesday, even though it's out in every bookstore. Mm-hmm. So I was tempted to pre-order that with the sale. Yeah. I did not watch it. Did she say anything? Anything juicy? I haven't seen the sprayed edges in person yet. No one's posted the sprayed edges. Do they look nice? They're dragons on it. Mm -hmm. I love that Entangled is doing that. Mm -hmm. Well, because like um, Waterstones has been doing that for so long. And I'm like, why is it taking so long to for people here? I know. Them? Like they're a whole bookstore. And then it's not like Barnes & Noble can't because they do they do have some oh but the wolf song covers are coming to barnes noble those are for pre-order too <laughs> oh gosh is this gonna be like a, a passion flick sort of thing that's why i was worried when you said it was like a small production company yeah, it all comes down to money. It does. And budget. And spending that on the actors and the set and the outfits, especially if it's... Uh, well, I'm going to jump off and go to Barnes Noble <laughs> online. Narrow down my cart a bit, but I have to add the Stacey Reed. I don't remember if I had any other historicals. I forgot. They've never done so many pre-order sales like this, have they? No, but they also keep on doing that hardback sale, too. So I don't know why they keep on doing sales like that. Wait, what hardback sale? When all hardbacks in store are 50% off. Mm. There's four um, different colors. Are you talking about the ARC? edition or the UK edition I know the arcs of the from the UK publisher um, they it's kind of like they made a special cover for each of the four quadrants at the school so you could be that quadrant or that quadrant I don't know if they did it for the finished copies though but I've seen them do that they did that with Jay Kristoff too right for his they yes. did like a bunch of different editions for arcs yeah and they become very collectible. I was going to say, doesn't that, like, encourage the selling of ARCs if they make them that exclusive? Mm-hmm. But. Did you also hear about the Happy Place color of the underneath the dust jacket? Like, of the no. naked hardback? Some are pink and some are yellow. And there's no, really? like, rhyme or reason to what's pink or what's yellow. Oh, I didn't even look at mine. It's all over TikTok. Mine's yellow. Is it supposed to be pink? I don't know. Like, people are like, oh, it's this. If it's this. If you get indie, it's pink. And Amazon's yellow. And someone's like, I ordered mine on Amazon and I got pink. And, like, I got it from my bookstore and I got yellow. So. So is the whole thing, like, one color? Or is it, like, pink and then the spine is yellow? I don't know. So this is what mine is. Oh. Some so it's the white pink. middle. Mm. Yeah. Because it would have made sense if it was, like, pink here, yellow here, and then they switched it the no, other way. No, she's completely different color. 
But is that the one you got from Berkeley? Yeah. Okay, I need to check mine. I didn't. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, until I saw people talking about it on TikTok, and I'm like, "What are you talking about?" You would think that the Berkeley one is at least the right one. We'll see. Okay. I have to look back at what I pre-ordered. Mm -hmm. They have. <laughs> yes. Yeah, especially the hardcovers. That's why I have JLA's new one that's, like, not part of the series, right? Isn't it a spinoff? Which one? The Fox Castle point of view? No. Unless it is. I'm actually excited about this one. I hope they do a good job. Do you get stuff from the bookish box? Yeah. I do not. Sign in. Set me out of Barnes Noble. I'll look later. Let me figure out what I'm No, it's not Shadow and Ember. That was, that's already out, isn't it? Yeah, Shadow and the Ember's already out. Is it coming out later this year? Yeah, I think it's the one that they're giving out arcs for at a Polycon. Oh, the Tor one. It's like we cursed something wings and ruin. What? The blue one with um, Tor. It's not blue. Well, the Barnes and Noble one is red, I think. Oh, okay, yeah. I was going to say, I think it's a red cover. Yeah, that one's coming out November. Yeah, and it's like their special edition hardcover. But isn't that like a new, why is my card empty? You got to sign in. I so, did. Yeah. And there's nothing in my cart. I added a bunch of things to my cart. Did you do it on your phone? No, I did it on my work computer. That's fine. <laughs> well, maybe this will help you cut down on books. <laughs> I won't remember what I added. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so annoyed. It says zero. I signed in. Oh, well. It's fine. Um, our next book is going to be... Do you have King it? of Pride. I don't. Oh. But we're reading King of Pride by Anna Huang. I know it's book two, but you're fine to read it on its own. I actually started it last week, but I have not finished it. Had to stop and read Offside, which took a while. It did. But yes. Oh, yeah. Are you getting the Wall of Winnipeg in me? Probably. I probably time. will. I don't hate it, but the original is definitely better. It's, it doesn't even look like a football romance except for the, the little helmets and the tiny, tiny corner. And then they're also going to change All Roads Lead here. That's one of my favorite covers of hers. It is really pretty, but they're going to turn it into some illustrated cover. The illustrated. Which hers aren't like cutesy books, so why? why? No. They're not rom coms at like, all. Like even the book the bookworm box for All Roads was so pretty and that's still discreet. So like why can't they do something like that? With like the stars? Mm-hmm. Yes. Kai is great. I'm excited. He's so stuffy, but I love him. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, All so right, we're gonna Okay. For what were you gonna say? I was gonna say something about a special edition, but Barnes and Noble just has so many special editions I can't afford them all. Well, I want I was gonna order Anna's anyways. Mm -hmm. Or Twisted. Not Twisted, King of Wrath. 
Yeah. That was pretty- but you can't pre-order anymore. No, I was just going to add it to my orders to get free shipping. Yeah. Exactly. They could have just kept the original cover. We like invented the discreet cover <laughs> for indie romances. That's all she knows. Um, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you guys for joining us. This was very fun. <laughs> yes. And Jess is sleepy. So. I am sorry. <laughs> yeah. Totally. So again, we're reading King of Pride by Anna Huang next month. So we'll see you later. We'll we'll post all the details on the Instagram. All right. Yes. Bye everyone. Bye.